everyone, Edna Kimball with Century 21 Wright Real Estate and welcome to today's episode where we have the Chance Adams with us today. Um, and let me give you a little bit of a rundown on Chance before we introduce him here. Um, Chance is the owner and CEO of Peak Health and Performance. They offer group fitness, personal training, Peak PE for youth fitness training. Um, they're located over at 148 Williams, and he's previously or currently still a wellness consultant to the Cherokee Nation businesses, formerly a director of the Choctaw Nation of Oklahoma, yeah. the wellness director. And, you know, we got to have the volunteers on. He is actually a volunteer for the Zoe Institute, um, several other items, and then he also coaches T-ball. So I love that. Got a lot going on there. Chance, yeah. welcome today. Hey, thanks for having me. Yeah, here. thanks yeah. for coming out. So, forward to it. so first off, where are you from? Are you so, homegrown? Uh, I grew up in Tallahassee, Oklahoma, which is about two hours south of here, okay. southeast Oklahoma. So born and raised there. I um, actually did come to school here for a year. And then I transferred to OSU. That's where I met Jake. We were studying um, health promotion and education and exercise science. So we met there and then um, hopped into our careers and took off from there. How did you choose Tahlequah? So I loved it when I lived here. And we used to, when I was in high school, we would come up and float the river and do all those things. And one of my best friends moved here and then he stayed when I left. And mm -hmm. we had, you know, it was a cool place to come back to. And, uh, you know, my, Jade's folks are from Southeast Kansas. My folks are from Tallahanna, so we kind of split the split the plan of field. Easy out. to go both ways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that, so funny story, Tallahanna, in real estate, about once a week we get a call from people. Yeah. And they think they're calling someone in Tallahanna. <laughs> but it's like I'm like, you're close, but not quite. Right. Tallahqua, not Tallahanna. <laughs> so um, but similar, um, just the way the, you know, greenery and mountains and everything, right? Oh yeah, it, yeah, yeah, similar. Yeah. <laughs> More hills here than, More than hills mountains there, there, but yeah, very, very close. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. And so you didn't have to talk too hard to get Jade to agree to tell us? Nope, she, she, was, she was all for it. Oh, great. Let's and go. so how long have you been here in Tallahassee? So we've been here, we moved here in the uh, summer of 2019. Okay. Yeah, so four years now, four years now. Oh, wow, and already a local business owner. Yeah, okay. dove right in. That's great. <laughs> and so how long has the business been established? So we, we opened Peak uh, December 1st of last year. Okay. So right before Christmas, kind of got our uh, ball rolling, and then we were ready for the new year. Okay, yeah. so you got through COVID before. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, didn't yep, have yep. to deal with that. Not much, no. Good, <laughs> good. Okay, so I obviously, uh, we met once briefly. Yeah. <laughs> But I'm I'm not like the big fitness person, but I love yoga, and you guys have yoga at your facility. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so for people who think it's only weightlifting, what all do you have there? So we do a lot of different things, and all of this really comes from my experience with the Choctaw Nation. I, I ran their wellness centers for um, like seven or eight years. I was down there for 10 years, and we were really able to grow that entire program. So we grew it like 600% as I was the director. We went from 45,000 or... Yeah, about 55,000 people a year at participating in wellness programs oh to almost 400,000. So we were able to grow that a ton, but really be able to see what was really working for people, what didn't work so much. And, you know, my my dream when I started that gig was to uh, create like a fitness menu. Like I wanted you to know exactly what you were getting into, be able to have a lot of uh, accuracy and precision when it came to health and wellness. Because mm -hmm. there's so much out there, you know, there's different diets and everybody believes this and everybody believes that, but you really got to find what works. Um, so that's kind of what STEM peak, you know, Jay and I have been doing this for a long time. We've always just, it's been a dream to do it our way. And, uh, you know, peaks the birth of that. So okay. it's been really fun and, and interesting. I love that you're wearing your, the t-shirt, the logo. <laughs> you gotta represent. You gotta represent. Of course, of course. So what does, um, so I love the fact that it's wellness. Yeah. I mean, because that encompasses everything. Mm -hmm. So obviously personal training. Do you guys do meal plans and yeah, we like do some, all in we, depth? We do nutrition coaching. We'll take it as far as you want to go. Um, you know, like I said, we've got a lot of experience, especially with people with like serious issues. You know, we've had people that have overcome or survived heart attacks. We've had, uh, people that have beaten cancer and want to keep it away. And we're just trying to do what we can through fitness and exercise and nutrition for anybody across the board. And we want to be able to do that in a professional and meaningful way. You know, one of the things that, if, for those that don't exercise and don't work out, 
you know, they they quit before they really start to see results, right? And that's usually the thing. It's like, I've been, been here three weeks. Where's everything? At? You know, <laughs> three days. All, What's right? happening here? Three hours sometimes. <laughs> um, but, you know, the thing is, is we try to take a lot of measurements up front. We, we do circumference measurements. We do, uh, we'll do blood pressure. We've done blood glucose for people and things like that and really be able to track that. And then, so then we can measure success almost immediately. You can turn someone's metabolic health around in like 48 hours if you know what to do. Wow, yeah. that's impressive. Yeah. And so if they just want to come and work out at the gym, is yep. that an option? It absolutely is. So we offer group fitness classes daily. Oh. Okay. And then, and we have like an unlimited package. It's five days a week. You pick your time, you come. We, we have classes at 5.15 a.m., 6 a.m., 8.15, noon, and 6 p.m. Yeah, right hey. now, okay? oh, five wow. days a week. And um, so yeah, are you the trainer, you and Jay. Jay and I both coach right now. Oh, okay. we'll, we'll grow into some other people, but sure, you know, we're now. we take this uh, very serious, and we got to find the right people that. You know, Absolutely. And we're we're willing to develop people as well. You yeah. know, that's something we did as or I did as a wellness director and things okay. like that was developing other trainers, developing what we call end up calling fitness specialists, right? So, yeah. you know, in that role, we were able to. We were the last four years we were in those uh, facilities for the Choctaws we were part of the health system. So we started seeing a lot more people that had been diagnosed with something and wanted something to do you know, about oh, it, right? Yeah. And you gotta understand, you know, modern medicine, they're, they're gonna treat the symptoms. You know, you come in, they're gonna give you a, a pill or whatever, but I don't, you know, no one wants to be on pills forever, right? right? So what we're trying to do is give the, is take a holistic view of the individual, where they're at, whether it's just a lack of fitness or we need to clean up some nutrition things or they have a, they've been diagnosed with a chronic disease and and guide them in a way that's meaningful and manageable for them to be able to kind of overcome some of those things in terms of nutrition and exercise. We can't do everything, but we can really make a lot of progress in that realm if that's what someone's looking for. So we try to cover the whole gamut. We want to be able, you know, if you're a fit 25 year old and you've been working out and you want to come in and work hard and push yourself and move better and all those things, we got you. If you're 55 and you have some chronic disease that's popping up and you really want to turn things around and you haven't moved in. I had a lady tell me the other day she hadn't ran in 40 years, first time. And she's been with us less than 100 days. Okay, so I mean, we want to, we're, we're here, here to help anyone. Athletes, ex-athletes, people who have never worked out in their life, all those sorts of things. Yeah. yeah. So if somebody was trying to recover from an injury, maybe if somebody has diabetes or pre-diabetes, because yeah. I'm thinking that's probably something you've done with the Choctaw Nation. Yeah, yeah, a lot. So, you know, any sort of, uh, most native tribes here, you see an uptick and no matter what the disease is, they've got a little bit more, usually about 7% higher than the average population. Um, and, you know, forever it's been like, oh, well, you know, it's genetic whatever and it is to an extent but you know it's also the environment how those uh, genetics are kind of being turned on or off that's something I've been studying for the past few years is like uh, genetics based precision medicine so it's anyway super interesting but it really gives me the understanding of what what each individual kind of needs and um, then if I could help them unpack that in a meaningful way to implement their lives then we're you know we're it's smooth sailing from there Wow, yeah. that's amazing. So how would someone go about getting started? Do they just pop in? Do they need to call? They make an appointment online? Yeah, you can You can go to peaktalakwa.com okay. and there is a place that, that you can schedule a consult or, in, or uh, introduction. You come in, we show you the place. If you want to, we can, uh, we can do a pre-assessment and all those sorts of things. We do movement screens. We want to know how well you move, what sort of issues you've had, what sort of, you know, limiting or uh, say nagging injuries or pre-existing injuries nagging injury or all those sorts of things yeah it's not nothing to do with your mother-in-law that's just <laughs> that's an old injury right uh, still self-inflicted but <laughs> persistent <Yeah>. okay okay <laughs> yeah. so we're going to definitely put that in the link below so that they can find you and so they would just reach out to you and get something scheduled. Fill out that form. You can pick your own times. We'll show our, uh, our availability on a calendar. Schedule that. Um, you can also, our number's on the website. You can give us a call. And um, what I can do is I can send you a link for anybody listening to this that wants to just hop in and try a class. Oh. I'll send you a link and they can schedule that and book oh, it there. Cool. Sound good? Yeah, cool. that's awesome. That is neat. Okay. Okay, now also you've only been here for, you know, 
a short while, but you're already like involved in the community and giving back. Tell us about your involvement with the Zoe Institute. So I, just some friends of mine I've met through men's groups and different things like this. I know that several of them are involved. So I've just volunteered there. I've taken my kids down there. We've served and things like that. Um, but there's other, you know, there's plenty of opportunity in Tahlequah to get involved. Um, you know, in different organizations. Josh Allen's got the men's uh, home thing going on. We, so we cleaned up a lot down there a couple weekends ago. So tons of opportunity if that's what you're looking for. But listen, let's tie it back to wellness a little bit. One of the, uh, there's like a been, I think it's like a 90 year study at this point, but it's one of the longest studies ever done on humans. And one of the things that really impacts our health and, and happiness for ourselves is being able to give back to other people, right? It's that feeling you get. So yeah. true. So even if you're selfish, you get out there and do that because it's good for your health as well. <laughs> Um, but anyway, there's plenty of opportunities there, so we just, I like to do what I can help people out. Uh, that's amazing. Yeah. I think that's great. And so you're also doing some t-ball coaching. I coached t-ball in the past. Uh, so I have three kids. I have my daughter, Lakin, freshman. I have Tegan that's going to be going into middle school. And oh, my son, Ray. you're beyond the t-ball, dude. Yeah, so, so I'm coaching, helping coach a little bit of football and then... We actually, we run a uh, speed performance camp right now through Peak. So it's a summer camp. We do two sessions for kids. Um, we're wrapping that up and then we'll have Peak PE picking up back in the fall. And is um, that like after school? Yeah, it'll be, it'll be an after school program of sorts. Oh. And one of the cool things that I was able to be a part of, um, you know, when we were at Choctaws, we ran an after school program. And one of the prerequisites we had were, uh, you know, we wanted, you didn't have to make a certain grade, but we wanted just to track your grades. And one of the cool things we were able to do was, well, what we saw was every single kid that came through that program that had room for improvement improved the letter grade. Oh so God. we really tried to, you know, we focus, you used to hear about cognition and the benefits of exercise and all those sorts of things. So we're putting that stuff into practice and trying to teach the kids how to move well and all those sorts of things. Because that all leads back to just self-confidence. Absolutely. But also yeah. like a, a long time, a long term, you know, lifelong appreciation for health and fitness. And if we can instill some of those values in them, you know, at an early age, then then we're on path to do what we enjoy doing. And, you know, so we set a goal for peak, and that was to change the lives of 1,640 people in this area, okay? Why 1,640? <laughs> well, it's 10% of the population of Taco, oh, if you look okay. it up. And it's not necessarily through our gym, but we want to, we're huge on education. You know, I think that's one uh, area we kind of fail in as a society is no, you know, you can, when you're about to drive, you go learn how to drive a vehicle. Right. You're not taught how to work on it though yeah and it's the same thing kind of with our body right and then we end up you know you have I think 88 percent of people with chronic disease or more than that now 94 percent of people oh so think about what that means in your society in your towns how it affects our neighbors our families our friends our kids our grandkids and all those sorts of things so we're trying to do what we can to make it dim so Chance, how did you get to be so passionate about it? Were you just like a chubby little kid with problems? Um, or? <laughs> no, actually. So I grew up, my mom coached basketball. My brother actually, he played uh, professional baseball for a little bit. So I got a cool story about that when it comes to strength and conditioning. Um, but no, I, uh, I was a pretty good, I was above average athlete. Okay. And then um, I actually had gallstones whenever I was 17 years old. Got super sick. You know, it reminds me of the local, what the local kids going through right now. Yeah. Um, I lost a ton of weight over the summer and come back to play football. I suffered injuries because I lost so much weight I wasn't able to put it back on. And, you know, the docs did what they can and all those sorts of things. Um, but no one ever told me it was a diet, nutrition-related disease, ever. Okay? And then, you know, going through the college life, I got a little bit of, uh, to be quite honest, I was a little <laughs> overweight. And uh, I just transferred to OSU. And I was going through, I was in you know, community health and education, all these things, and they gave us a, uh, our curriculum for one of the, one of the uh, classes, and at the end of it, we went through a wellness screen, biometric screen, blood pressure test, all these things. And I'm like, I'm not gonna be embarrassed when this thing is over, right, in a semester. So, zero drinking in college, so oh, just take the, yeah, yeah. take this. So, I, was, I, I, I meant this when <laughs> I did it. I, I was intentional, yeah. right? Waking up every morning, going to the gym, eating the way that I thought I should, and all these sorts of things, and, uh, Lo and behold, that last day, I hadn't really lost any weight, but I was also, my blood pressure was up, and they were like, oh, no. you got some blood pressure issues. So, <laughs> you know, I took that to heart, did what I could, studied it, learned how to change that effectively, and then I was able to replicate that with people through the Choctaw Wellness Centers, um, you know, and the people we meet, yeah. uh, you know, on a day-to-day -day basis. Because so. it really is the education. You could be doing all of the <clears throat> things, but if they're all the wrong things? Yeah, certainly, and there's just so much, like, you know, 
misinformation out there. Yeah, you know, yeah. everybody's trying to go one direction or the other, but we try to you know, just really hone in on the individual, identify what's going on with them, look at their lifestyle, some of their behaviors. Yeah, um, we actually have a program, and this is like complimentary to most of our members. If you're coming five days a week, we'll take this as far as you want to go. And we call it the mess and we're helping you clean up your mess. And the mess means, you know, stands for movement, uh, eating, uh, stress and sleep. So we address all those things. We just kind of set some goals around that. You know, for some people it's, I can't tie my shoes by myself and I need to do, you know, those sorts of things for others. It's, you know, I've got a runner with nagging hip and knee pain and we're teaching them when we set some goals around that and we make sure they're moving well and build some strength in the, in the knees and hips, teach them to run properly. You know, a lot of people don't really teach running as a skill. They're just like, go run. And then, you know, 82% of runners are injured or something like that. Yeah. So, you know, we try to teach people how to move well, um, how the body's intended to move and things like that. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. So tell us the story about the brother. I'm really curious. Oh, yeah, yeah. What, what so Lane, my brother, he graduated from Red Oak, Oklahoma, small school, oh, uh, was drafted by the Royals out of high school. Um, in rookie ball, you're, you know, you're playing pretty much year round, uh, in, in a sense. So anyway, he had a couple of injuries and whatnot and, um, finally convinced him in the off season one year to move in with Jade and I. So Jade's cooking for him and he's coming to the wellness center. I'd been the director there for about a year at the time. So we're, I'm overseeing all of his strength and conditioning. And he had had some conversations with the Royal staff and, you know, all those sorts of things about what he needed to do to improve as a player. So that off season in 10 weeks he was with us we we put 22 pounds of muscle on that kid he lost zero speed so we timed his you know 60 foot he was a base stealer and an outfielder so he was expected to be super yeah, fast yeah. um so 22 pounds of muscle he didn't lose a second on a 60 time and uh that he ended up being on the the, the Royals won a pennant that year, so he was like the first alternate. He was right behind the gold glove, uh, Alex Gordon at the time. So he ended up with a National League Championship oh Series God. ring after that. Yeah, now, big time. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know about that, but and, and that's not to take any credit to what you know I'm his sure. skill and he things. But part, yeah, yeah, you know, you yeah. got to do the work. But it's being able to, you know, I wanted to do everything I could to to make him successful, yeah. right? So I really studied all those sorts of things and just dove off into it. And I wanted everything to be meaningful. I needed to protect him. He had come off a of shoulder uh, surgery, so I oh. want you know we couldn't re-injure that, and we ended up coming out on top in terms of strength and conditioning, right? That's impressive because uh, you guys don't know how hard it is to put muscle on. <laughs> Fortunately, he was still pretty young, so yes. it wasn't it wasn't as hard as it is at you know forty. But right, yeah. Right. So do you have that on your site somewhere? Trained professional? <laughs> I don't. I really need to really spend need to more time on our site, <laughs> social media, all those things. I'm terrible at it. I'm more about one on one. Let's get to work and get people. it done. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And and you know at the end of each because I'm sure you've watched all of our podcasts, but at the end of each one, I say if there's someone that you'd like to see on the podcast. And your name got put in the hat, so you didn't even realize that. But someone was like, "You got to have Chance and Jade on," That's you know. Awesome. And I think it is because the passion that you have for this really comes through when people are speaking to you. So, yeah. so that's amazing. I love that. So it is a real estate podcast, so we do have to kind of bring it back to real estate. And so I always like to ask my guests, if money was no object, and you could build your dream home or purchase your dream home, what's three things that dream home would have? Uh, seclusion, lots of acreage, and natural light. Okay, that was Those the fastest things. answer we've uh, ever gotten. <laughs> are you me? Yeah. Okay. So, those are the things you dream of, right? Okay, so seclusion because you're with people all day, so you have to recharge and have a little bit of downtime. Sort of. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. But you know, I, um, I'm always, I just like, uh, I like nature. I like being out in it. I like okay. soaking all those things in. So yeah, I just like to kind of be outside and. And, no case and all the things you. that come along with that. Oh, yeah. there you go. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Okay, and so would you be a river person or a lake person? Ooh, I would probably have to say river, but I'm more of a mountain person in general. Okay. Yeah, I love the mountains. But maybe uh, a view of the river. <laughs> yes, that would be ideal, right? Okay, that yeah, would yeah. work. Okay, well, and there's no wrong answers, you know, and those are not even crazy things if money was no object, other than maybe the large acreage, so... Yeah, that yeah, could right. cost. <laughs> well, we really appreciate, I, I don't know how you get through 
all of those workouts and then still have time to come here and, and meet with us. But we're really appreciative. Anything else that we need to know about that maybe I didn't touch on? Um, I don't. Oh, yeah, I got a couple things going on. Um, so we have a new program kicking off this uh, in August and it's uh, for it's we call it Legends. It's our Legends class. It's 10 a.m. on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So it's for anybody that's it's really our our older population. Right. Um, and what we do a lot of is like functional fitness. So we're trying to make sure that really people can maintain their freedom of movement and things like that. So putting your dishes away, picking up your laundry, carrying your groceries inside. Those are some of the things that we want to do. And then, you know, being able to go to the bathroom by yourself for some people. So we're going to target that older population with our legends classes okay. and then give them an opportunity to, you know, it's kind of a social hour as well. Yeah. Uh, so come in, hang out a little bit, learn to move well. Uh, and maintain your independence and you know, as long as you can. I love that. I love that. I, I did a um, kind of a study one time about it, and something that people should always strive for is to be able to pick up a two-year-old child, you know, the great-grandchild when you get to that age, yeah. or put the over, you know, the carry-on <laughs> luggage over your head. <laughs> yeah. <Two> great goals. <laughs> Got to keep those two things when you get to that gold, right. those golden ages or golden years. Not there yet, but I'm getting there. So. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for coming out. Um, we're definitely going to put the information below so anyone can reach out to Chance or Jade or just um, contact the, the Peak Performance Facility. Did I get that right? There you go. Uh, but thank you so much for making the time. And thank you mainly for giving back to community, um, to Tahlequah, because it really does. It, it's just a really cool place. And I love when people are homegrown and never left, but it really does my heart great when people have come here for a short time fell in love with it and came back and made it their home. You yeah, know? I appreciate you having me. But yeah, it's, you know, it's it feels good to give back. It feels good to give, you know, a part of yourself to something bigger. And, uh, you know, that's why we do it. And it benefits everybody, right? Yes, yeah. absolutely, absolutely. Okay, guys, you know the drill. If you would like to be a guest on our podcast, please reach out. Or if you know someone that you would like to see on the podcast, shoot us their name and number. I promise we will reach out to them. As always, please like, follow, and share so that we can promote these local businesses and community leaders. Love that. And thank you so much for watching today's podcast.